Now, Caxton Publishers has announced it will close down its magazine division. At least 12 titles will be affected, including Bona and People magazine as well. The group says there has been a decline in advertising and circulation numbers for its publications. Uh, Caxton has also been under financial pressure brought about by the countrywide COVID-19 lockdown. For more on this, I'm now joined by the group's general manager, Anton Bortas. Anton, very good morning. Thanks for joining us. Uh, so basically, you know, the, we knew there was low circulation before the lockdown itself, and it seems lockdown was just that little bit that gave you the push over the edge for Caxton uh, for your magazine publishing division. Well, that, that's exactly that. We've, we've known for the last seven to eight years that we've seen a steady decline in our circulation. But what COVID's done is just where we've seen another three to four years for our printed brands, just narrowed that down to a two-month window period because we were classified as a non-essential service and could not get our products back on, on the shelf. And then as a result of that, advertisers were pulling out and could not continue supporting us. And you understand that obviously advertiser relies on, on their sales in stores. So when stores been closed and certain products not available, they could not continue supporting us. Now, your magazine division employs about 250 people. Uh, what's going to happen with those people? Are you going to deploy them in other divisions in your company? You know, the, the unfortunate thing is with the economic climate that we're in, it's hard to, to always fill positions in other parts of the business. So most people will lose their jobs and uh, where we can find homes for some of these brands, hopefully some people can be, be relocated there. But at this stage, the, the staff will be retrenched and, and will leave the business. Uh, you, you, you mentioned that uh, if you can find homes for some of your brands in, in, within your magazine division, uh, you are willing to engage other publishers, anybody who is interested maybe to buy up those magazines. Has anybody approached you? Yeah, yeah, we've, we've had various um, proposals and applications in the last day. So we'll be considering this in the next week. And obviously we'll be delighted to, to see those brands continue somewhere else um, within the local media industry. Did Caxton sort of like kind of miss the boat on this one by not going digital with some of the, these brands a little bit earlier on? Because you can see the trends, that's where everything is moving. Uh, sure, we've been working hard at it for at least the last four years to get our digital added assets on track. In fact, during lockdown, we've seen between 50 and 100 percent growth on some of our social media platforms. The problem with that is that advertising is not following. You know, for every 10 rand we lose in print, it's hard to make up one rand in digital. So that model is still not sustainable for us. And as it's worldwide, magazine publishers are battling to find the right model where they throw, throw events in it, um, podcasts. So, so right now, we, we just don't see it as a viable business model for us. Uh, what are the newspaper side on the, uh, your, your print newspapers? What happens there? Um, it's business, business as usual, obviously impacted by, by advertising as well, but business as usual. And as the rest of, of the market, um, advertising is a problem, so is circulation. Okay, you know, print books versus e-books at the moment, are you looking to maybe move in that direction as, as you go further? No, we'll be exiting the market completely. There's, there's no opportunity for us to remain in this market, so we're not exploring that at all. All right. All right. Thank you so much for some clarification there. Over 250 employees uh, in the magazine division there could or will lose their jobs unless somebody picks up some of those titles. Uh, that's uh, Caxton General Manager Anton Bortas chatting with us.